weet niet, ik weet niet, eindelijk kunnen zitten met je haar. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a shot on this big pig and this was because of the water buck at the watering hole. This water buck came in yesterday with Daniel and Devan here and uh, they saw he had a broken right foot and a lot of wounds on his body, those being puncture wounds from being in battle with a different water buck bull. We saw that these wounds were taking a toll on his body and he probably would not have survived the winter, let alone these last two weeks. Luckily I had enough signal so we got on the phone with the farm owner and asked if we couldn't help this uh, warrior bull out of his misery as most of his wounds were, as we saw later on, septic or had maggots in them already. Um, this is also just a testament as to how tough these bulls are or these animals are that uh, he was still walking around on this wounded leg with all these puncture wounds, eating food and trying to continue. Okay guys, so something special just happened that we actually didn't plan for at all. Um, it was one of those more management kind of ideas where there was a water buck bull yesterday that Daniel and Devon saw were sitting here that came in and his right, his right rear leg, as you guys can see in the video, was shot. Like, shot as not hurt, not shot, but it was broken to the side. And then on his, on his uh, opposite shoulder, there was a hole in as well. So we think he was fighting with another bull and these water buck can get into quite hectic fights and so he was very very much injured and uh, he was coming eating the food we put out here not going very far you could see in his hip bones losing conditions and losing condition and stuff 
So a very nice management board to take and uh, we made sure with the with the farm owner first before doing anything hasty and uh, when we got the green light this was the right ball to take. Very special, I've never shot a water buck, I didn't plan on shooting one because uh, it was just, I wanted to shoot one very badly and Sureska, Sureska's number one bucket list animal is a water buck bull so very special animal. We saw him fall right across the wood there, he went crashing so he didn't go very far. I drilled him right through the heart, maybe lungs, I don't know. What do you think, Devon? No, I think it's good shot. I think top of heart, maybe lungs, yeah. Average. So, yeah, guys, what a, what an animal. <laughs> There we go guys, my first water buck ever. It's a very, very dandy bull. He's just a bit covered in wood and brush. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the height over there did not make it very far. Probably 40 yards, that's about it. There you go, my first water buck bull ever. Dandy shot right into the pump station and I mean he didn't go far. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of a very special video, an animal for that I hunted that I wasn't even planning on hunting anytime soon. It's really a nice trophy animal and uh, a water buck is not something you shoot very often, specifically, especially as a biltong hunter. And uh, yeah, we, we were glad we could help him. You could see the other bull really uh, destroyed him. And uh, it's, it's the sad part about nature is it's not a Disney movie. These things happen out in the bush so it was a good one to take i was i'm super chuffed with it and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video as well thanks uh thanks for watching please leave a like down below subscribe all the lucky things and uh stay on the lookout for some great content coming soon i think paul is zooming in on uh my nose if i think was he in my so yeah thanks for watching guys Bye.